Hello everybody. Uh, there's a lot of discussion online about how to remove a cab without a lift on a 97 to uh, 03 F-150 and uh, just kind of throw my ideas out there. Not recommended this by no means. Uh, uh, proceed at your own risk but uh, this is what worked for me. Anyway I had uh, two cherry pickers and uh, as you can see that front one there I've got it hooked to the front end of the truck and uh, now I had the whole front end of my truck off uh, fenders and uh, even had the radiator support cut out of it uh, because of some rust issues but uh, anyway uh, that really wouldn't have been necessary I could have made some brackets to hook in maybe uh, where the hood uh, latch bolts down or something and uh, uh, lifted it that way but anyway I just lifted the cab and just uh, pulled it to the side and I've got another Another cherry picker back here. I just run it uh, through the uh, side doors and uh, I hook to the uh, seat belt mounts there. Uh, I probably would have done that different. I would have probably picked a couple of wider uh, uh, attachment point because it is it is a little rocky here and uh, I don't know if you can tell or not. But anyway, I've just uh, got a standard uh, low ceiling garage. Uh, Probably a nine foot ceiling, I guess, but uh, anyway, it's uh, just a standard uh, 28 by 28 garage, uh, nothing special, just two cherry pickers, and uh, uh, I actually uh, uh, removed this by myself. It would have been easier with some help as far as uh, balancing this thing goes, because it was uh, pretty rocky, but uh, probably I should have, uh, those back attachment points, I should have picked something wider, maybe a uh, Maybe there at the seat belt mounts or whatever. But uh, anyway, it had been a little bit more stable. But uh, anyway, worked well and uh, I'm okay. Not going to the emergency room today. But uh, anyway, I just thought I would share and uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can get some ideas from this. But uh, anyway, thank y'all very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.